bathroom. And when you're in the house, they or did on my channel about a year and a half ago. Now, so this is going to support the mirror mount in two different places. First. I've got the GoPro plugged into a rechargeable battery pack. I have not tried that before. I'm gonna see if this is gonna keep it charged longer because the batteries last like 15 minutes. But I think I have a new plan that makes more sense. I think towel rack here makes sense. And then uh, the Echo right here. But is there any studs? Don't think there is. I think the only studs right there, which is awesome. I mean, I'll have to, unless I can cut around this, I'll have to fill this. <laughs> back in the bathroom here and I kind of need to clean up some of this mess before I start the next part of this project which is going to be cutting the hole for the Echo Show 5 which we're going to put right there and we're going to keep it up top here to uh, to keep it a little bit higher and also reuse these holes so mounting this is super easy I've done it many many times the trick is getting it level. So this is the kit. And pretty cool little kit. All you have to do is cut the hole and there's some little clips that hold it into the drywall. They also give you an extension for your plug if you have to run power somewhere, but we are going to be putting a power adapter inside the wall, so we don't need this guy, so I have a bunch of extra ones of these.
So this is our rather easy solution for power. Now technically, you are not supposed to do this, so don't tell anyone. What we're gonna do is grab power off of this receptacle here and put power to this Show 5 device. So I've got some electrical cable here. It is not Romex, and again, you're not supposed to be doing this. But at this point, I'm not worried about it. It's accessible. The Echo Show pops out in two seconds. So it is what it is. It's happening. We have our drill bits here, our paddle bits, and it's as simple as grabbing one. And I'm gonna put a nice size hole in the side of this guy. And when you're doing it, do not hit wires. Do not touch the side of the plug. It is on and active. This is very not recommended. So we're just gonna go right through the side. Just like that. That's all we had to do. That easy little plug hole. And now here is our electrical. We are right in access point here. So we're just gonna come right through the side of that hole with our electrical. Now, since this is not technically closed up and it has access, this really isn't, wouldn't be out of code, I don't think. You can't close in a plug like this inside the wall, but we are not closing it in. It literally pops right out. So now we are gonna go ahead and connect this side. power is done for our show five and now all we have to do is get our power brick here 
See, we have our female power here. And all we have to do is plug this guy in like this. Just like that. And it just simply falls right back into the wall. And it can't go far because it feels like it's resting on something. But I am worried about losing this in the wall, but um, I have to take this plate out to paint. But if we see right here and right now, we should have power. Let's see. Why don't we have power? There it is. So we have power and then this simply clips right into the wall like so. And that is how you officially mount the Echo device. And it is booting up right now. Let's turn the lights off. All right, the device is powering on right now. Let's go ahead and let it do its thing. We do need to change the wallpaper on that. We'll figure that out later. All right guys, so we have run to the hardware store, actually in the Tesla, which is a miracle because I never drive it, and gotten some spackle stuff and it actually is the stuff that turns white when it's dry. So let's go ahead and get this all patched up. These are the old mirror holes with the dumb mirror that has the outside.
So I just recorded this whole cool thing about this new paint system. These new paint cans are awesome. They have like a key to open the top and then the thing becomes a funnel, which is pretty cool. It's a new thing I've never seen before, but we're headed back to electrical. Okay, so they were up here on the very top and I had to go all the way down here and get the box down to get one of the one of the old work boxes out. These are the ones that have the flip tabs, so you just put a hole in the wall and you flip them up and that's what we need. 